Hey everybody, it's Suzanne. Um, I am going to be trying out uh, a new mold I got. Um, this is from Nurture Soaps. Um, it's a tall, skinny mold. It's something I don't usually make soap out of a mold like this. Mine is more, uh, it's, it's a different kind of a mold and it gives me a different kind of a bar. And I'm hoping that this works out okay because this is a tall skinny mold so it's going to be more of an upright kind of a bar but I wanted to make a glycerin soap and I am going to call this one oopsie daisy or maybe my sunshine you are my sunshine but um so you are my sunshine because I have these little yellow embeds that I made and um so I thought I'd make that soap. It's a glycerin soap. Uh, okay, had to put in a new memory card. It's always something. All right, so mm -hmm. the glycerin soaps, I don't make them myself. I buy them um, from chemistrystore.com. They have the Stevenson's soaps, which I like. They're all melt and pour, and they have... 20, maybe 20 some different varieties and I get them there. So, um, alright, I, um, I, I, what I did was, um, I tested out how much liquid is going to be in this mold and it's going to be 48 ounces is, um, what I'm going to need for melt and pour soap. So, um, I think um, I'm going to do um, four different colors and um, they will be, um, so that will give me four times eight is 32 and then I will do just one layer of white but um so it'll be pink blue orange green um it will be like sunshine and a rainbow so what I'll do is um I'm going to pour each color um, this one is like pink and I'm going to start with that first and I've chosen the triple butter uh, melt and pour base today. Um, it has your three butters, cocoa butter, shea butter, and mango butter. And I just love their, their uh, melt and pours. I've used a lot of them, um, and they, they're all nice. And the fragrance of this soap will be black raspberry vanilla which smells just yummy so um, I'm going to do the layers and um, I'll come back I'm not going to be talking so I will come back with each layer And in between each layer, I'm going to spritz with alcohol. So. See a couple of lumps in there. So I'll stir it just a little bit more. Alright, got them out. Oh, 
Okay, so I changed my mind. So don't we all just change our mind? Yes, we do. We're allowed to do that. I thought I'd alternate colors and white. It was either going to be colors in black or colors in white. So, um, colors in white today, and who knows, colors in black another day. So, um, to help me here, I put the soap on my scale, and um, let's see, it's in ounces. So, I am going to just pour, my soap is down to 140. Okay, so I want to pour, um, we'll see here, maybe two ounces or maybe four. So it's going to be four ounces. Alright, so four ounces of white. And I'll just spray a little bit of alcohol just to get the bubbles out of there. And um, I will be back. Okay, I am back. I am about to put the embeds in there. And um, so I thought I'd uh, let you see how I do that. Um, I have just poured a layer of white. So far I have the red, um, white, green, white, the next will be blue, then white, then orange. Okay, so um, you just dip them in a little bit of your white and I think I should just probably wait one or two minutes and um so I want to lay them in the white and I dip them a little bit so I can stick them on the side like that and then that will go right on the side there and I have them marked hopefully now the last ones I did were um, snowmen of course this is sticking to my fingers my fingers a little bit here with alcohol okay and I'll dip and then place and I you see on my little um, markings but this will help it stick to the side And then I wanted them in my white. I could have just laid them on top of the white, but I didn't want that. I wanted them in my white. They want to keep sticking to my fingers. <laughs> oh.
Okay, whoops. So the last one had to act up. All right. So now I'll be ready to do my next layer once that sets. I'm going to give it 15 minutes and then I'll come back and we'll do the next layer which will be I think would be blue. Blue would be a good layer. Oh, well, maybe orange. Orange would be a good layer. Okay, so I'll come back when I'm ready to do that. Okay, this will be my last layer of white. And I will, I might top it off with a little fluffy white. I'm not sure. But um, I will come back when that's all set. That was four ounces there that I, I have this sitting on the scale. So um, when that is um, rested and, and set, I'll come back. Okay, I'm going to put the last layer on. Um, I thought maybe I was going to put maybe some white clouds or something, fluffy clouds on top. I haven't decided yet. Us women, we can always change our mind, huh? Mm -mm -mm. But um, what I like to do sometimes with melt and pour is uh, whip it up a little bit and put a cloud like something like a fluffy cloud type appearance. So I have a little bit of room there and maybe I will but um, alright so that does it. Let's see here. I don't know if you can see. Um, whoop. Those are the multi layers, but um, so it's going to sit overnight. And um, sorry about all this jiggling and moving around. Well, um, there. Um, but uh, it'll sit overnight, and um, so there's my tall and skinny mold first time that I ever made soap in this mold. So um, I will cut it tomorrow and show you the end of it. Have a great day. Thanks for watching and don't forget to give me thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel and uh, have a wonderful day. Hey everybody. Okay, I found this um, with this tall and skinny mold here that I just bought, it was hard for me to get the soap out. But um, it, it was hard to unmold it. But um, I did get it out. Let's see. And that's what it is. All right. So um, let's see. Can you see that? All righty. Um, so. Um, I, I've got some ideas for the next one. I might have marked it wrong here.
And I don't know if I like this mold yet. But it would probably be all right. It's just that I am um, new with using it. And I guess trying to unmold it kind of had me flustered a little bit, but but um, there you basically have it, and um, I just wanted you to see the the final product. It's my little. It's actually like a sunshine. Kind of reminds me of sunshine soap. But, um, okay, I hope you liked the video. Um, please subscribe to my channel and give me thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, put them below. And um, thank you for watching. Have a great day.